out the Dick's Sporting Goods store in California, the teens were all arrested. Pete? Well done. Well, apparently there is such a thing as too much winning. The University of St. Thomas in Minnesota, known as a Division III powerhouse, is getting the boot from the Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, known locally as the MIAC, because the school is apparently just too good at sports. Does this send the wrong message? The author of What's Wrong with Damn Near Everything, Larry Wingett, joins us now. He is also known as the Pitbull of Personal Development. Larry, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So this infuriates me uh, to no one's surprise because I can't stand when, when messages like this are sent out. Uh, everyone gets a trophy. Uh, winning is a problem because it makes those who don't win feel bad. What happened to building backbone in young people and, and inspiring them to reach high? And you know what? Sometimes you're not going to get that trophy. Sometimes you're not going to, 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 to win. But that's okay because the lesson is more valuable. Yeah, the problem is we want to make everything equal for everyone, and I'm sorry, things just aren't equal in the real world. Those who achieve should be rewarded for their achievement. The message that bothers me in this whole thing is, is that we're telling these kids uh, who are left, after we've removed the very best, we're telling them there's no incentive for you to really work harder and earn it, and we are robbing them of the great feeling that comes from within when you have worked hard and achieved and become the very best. That's a great point. Well, the University of St. Thomas put out a statement when they were kicked out of their own athletic league <laughs> saying, while this decision is extremely disappointing, we'll continue to prioritize the welfare and overall experience of our student athletes. We are proud of our success. My brother's an alumni. He sent me that statement right when it came out. And, and the biggest rival of St. Thomas is St. John's. St. John's voted to keep them in the conference because they sure. want the rivalry to continue. What is in the mindset of the loser colleges that say, no, vote them out. We, we, we don't want to compete against them anymore. Yeah, how would it make you feel to know that you've won, but you didn't beat the best, you just beat what was left? There's no, yes. uh, there's no upside to that at all. Think about when Tiger Woods was winning everything. And if the PGA had come in and said, Tiger, you're just too good. We're going to pull you out of this deal. And then the next guy wins the Open or the Masters. Well, he'll know he won that, but he didn't beat the best that ever played. And so there's no real win for him. And that's the, the thing we have to remember with these kids. There's no win for anyone in this. We've penalized the best for simply earning it. And we're not rewarding those who are left because they're not going to have a, a sense of victory that they've done their best to get where they are. You know, Larry, Great this point. is happening in uh, sports, but it's also happening in academics. You see this all yep. the time. And I'm just wondering what we're setting up this next generation for. They are going to enter a workforce. They're going to enter a real world that is competitive, where you don't always get a trophy, where you don't always get coddled. So aren't we doing a huge disservice to that generation? Listen, we're doing a huge disservice to our entire country because when they do go into business, they're going to find out, just as you said, Jedediah, that that's not how it works in business. And the problem is these businesses are going to have to deal with the tender feelings of all these uh, uh, kids who have graduated, and they're used to winning all the time, and they're not going to know how to lose, how to handle failure, and how to handle the kind of disappointment that comes in the real world and in business. And that's where businesses are going to be hurt. It's going to be harder for managers and leaders, and it's going to end up affecting us all long term, not just with the colleges. No, it's yeah. a bigger perspective. The book is What's Wrong with Damn Near Everything. Great title. You know he's going to bring it <laughs> if Larry Wingett wrote it. Thank you for joining us this morning. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you. All right. Well, the Democrats rolling out a new catchphrase, yet another one. We believe that the president of the United States is engaged in a cover up. The cover up by this administration. Prevent the president from continuing this ongoing cover up. The question is, will it work? We're going to ask Dan Bongino coming up next.